Okay, guys. Jesus Christ. Were you shitting? You no, know, he clogs the toilet in our apartment so much, I started pissing off the balcony. What took you so long? Oh, I was just looking through your things. What? Can we play a card? Yeah. Oh. Also, why do you have so many shampoo bottles? Can't you just buy one and then use it? I forget that I have them. Mm. Plus, I bring all my soap home from school. So when you come back from school, you just like to have extra soap? Well, what do you bring home from break then? Gogurt. Oh, <laughs> we have an abundance of gogurt in our fridge, along with an abundance of the Amish. <laughs> That's my card, do I win? Yeah, you win. Let's go. So what do you have in New York? Do you have police brutality? Uh. Selling crack to children. Mm -mm. I bet you don't have fiery poops. Oh, I have fiery poops. Yeah, I know. Glenn's still a better roommate than mine. Why? What'd your roommate do? She's a musical theater major. Oh. Oh. Yeah. I went on a date with a musical theater major. Oh, I remember that. What? Tell her the story. Uh, I don't want to. Come on, I want to know what you guys did this semester. I feel like I missed out. Tell her. Okay. So I invited her over to my apartment. We decided to watch Survivor. That's a terrible choice. Shut up, let me tell my story. I was nervous. I'd thrown up twice that day. I don't think she knew that though. She asked me what I like to do in my free time. I said your mom. She didn't like that answer. I thought it was funny. That is funny. I know. Shut up, let me tell my story. I reached for some popcorn, but I missed the bowl. I spilled it everywhere. But when I was trying to get the popcorn out of the cushion, I found Optimus Prime. I was pretty excited. She was not, but that's okay. Then, I found Bumblebee. Both of them were just in the couch. I lost them for weeks. Did you ever find Megatron? No, I still can't find him. Anyway, those weren't the only things I found on the couch. Glenn had had a girl over that weekend. Glenn! I'm not ashamed. She freaked out. Then she got up and left. Oh, I'm sorry you were left all alone. I wasn't alone. I had my Transformers. Okay, next card. Glenn, do you have any fun stories from this semester? Oh boy, do I. God, don't ask him. I just asked him. So do you want to hear about the time I got a beer bottle stuck in my nose? Or do you want to hear about those fuzzy handcuffs? Beer bottle. Okay, so... Oh, wait. Oh, I've got a story that'll blow Simon's Transformer kink out of the water. I don't have a Transformer kink. So, I was at the cinema, seeing Double and Dead, Double and Dead, Double. <sighs> I was at the movies. It was one of those films where your whole perspective changes. Just really look around at the world and yourself and ask, why God, why? Is there even a God? I had to retreat to a dark alley to match the emotional stir of my dying soul. Nothing tastes better than a good old sexy Siggy in the pits of despair. And God, I needed one that night. That movie made me want to finally confront my father. What's wrong with Larry? Let me have this fake problem. Then this freak taps me on the shoulder. He asks for one of my Siggies. And I say, no, my Siggies define who I am. And the freak says to me, you can't begin to understand who you really are until you taste one of these. And then he whips out his magic beans. No pouch or anything. Those beans were straight raw dog in that coat pocket. What was I to do? They were magic beans. And all he wanted was a puff of one of my cigs? Then the exchange was exchanged. But he disappeared so fast, I was alone again. One Siggy short, and seven beans rich. Now I've tried lots of shit before, but I've never tried beans. They weren't cooked, so they were super crunchy. And then... I spit them out. I don't really like beans. I told you it was a stupid story. Nothing happened? Yeah, I guess you're right. Should have told her the story about that time I sacrificed a lamb. 
You what? You sacrificed a lamb? I think that's a bit immoral. Well, it was already dead. It means some friends just happened upon it. How do you happen upon a dead lamb? So you didn't actually sacrifice it. Well, you know, when you... And then, so that... This semester, Maddie sacrificed a lamb. <laughs> no, I didn't. Just seen it in movies. Mm. All right. I did join a cult, though. I joined a cult. We heard you the first time. Now, what, what would compel you to join a cult? A pretty compelling person, actually. That's like their... <laughs> Her whole thing. <laughs> Her name was Deborah. I saw a flyer about the campus feminist org. All I wanted was to attend an informational meeting. But Deborah had this call. I could not resist her. She needed to teach me something. Oh, God, a feminist cult? She showed me so much. She showed me how to extend the capacity of the human essence. Do you know what it means to be truly liberated? I do. I now call for an extreme restructuring of our society so we can all experience this truth and never more this facade that we are happy. For we can only know happiness if we all feel what I felt from Deborah's hands. So like, let me know if you're interested. We don't want to join your cult. Well, you can't necessarily join. It's like an all-female cult. It's like their thing. But like, be like an ally or something. I didn't, I didn't really have magic beans. But you, you, oh, you don't have real magic beans, do you? I'm scared. You know what, Maddie? I, uh, I think you win this time around. Oh, that's it? I won? Yeah, yeah, you know, uh, we'll, we'll beat you next time. Or not, you know. Uh, anytime. Oh, and uh, if you see Deborah, Debbie, Deborah Rue, if she has any real magic beans, you know, tell her to send them my way. Um, well, let me know if you guys want to hang out before break. Maybe. Uh, no, no, no. I, th I think I think we're okay. Thank. Uh, yeah. Well, this has all been very theatrical. Thanks for hosting.